Hello, I'm James with 4J Hose and Supply. Good to be with you today. What we want to look at today is a Pump Tech 350U pump. All right, Pump Tech is one of our manufacturers that we sell pumps for. And what has happened recently or in recent years, people of course are trying to get clean energy. They're trying to get away from the gas, the mess. And of course with COVID, there was a lot of help with that when Honda engines became hard to get and it became more difficult to keep fleets operational. Well, a number of fleets in the U.S. have actually gone to utilizing DC power sources rather than gas-driven power sources. Part of the reason for that is the noise. Uh, you're able to operate in times and places where a gas engine might be prohibitive because it's so noisy. The other thing is, of course, it's clean. You don't have to carry around a gas can, have gas fumes, have the vulnerability of the flammability of that gas actually catching on fire or something going wrong with, you know, causing an accident. Uh, you don't have to worry about employees that are actually going to wind up getting uh, hurt with the gas. And there's uh, safe, the safety is a big issue as well. Well, what I have here in front of me is a 350U pump. Now, it's made by Pump Tech, and the good news is this is very reliable, very dependable, very easy to maintain. And I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. But your pump head is actually fully anodized, and it's actually, it comes with stainless plungers. This is what you call plunger pump. Now, you may be familiar with your DC power sources having a diaphragm pump. This is a Delavan here. We sell these as well as, uh, <clears throat> as the Everflows and Comets and uh, other pumps, Sureflow and what have you. But the Pump Tech is more durable. It's going to give you more lasting time, and it's going to be easier to maintain. I'm going to describe that to you here uh, with just a few things to, as examples. Number one, if you have to replace the motor, this is your motor, this is your pump, you have four Allen bolts. Yes, that's it. This is your tool kit to replace the motor or the pump if one of them goes bad and they are replaceable. Now what you're also going to find is once you get this pump head off, here's your plunger kit of your stainless steel plungers. Okay, here's your seal kit. Both of them readily available on our website. You can find parts as well as pumps, motors, and complete assemblies. All right, now what we have here, this is <clears throat> part number 88. 80835, I'm sorry. And uh, it's a complete assembly. This is what they call sub assembly. Now it comes complete with all your plumbing, has your inline filter, your ball valve to cut it off, your regulator. This is ready to go. All you have to do is plumb it to your spray hose and to your tank, and you can get with it. Now we do have instructions on the assembly how to do that on the website on the product page. There's a link there for the assembly and how to hook it up. But this is ready to go. All you gotta do, get it hooked up to your power source and you've got a DC pump that you're ready to spray. Now, if you wanna upgrade, what you find here is a 5 8 horse. Standard is a quarter horse that comes with the 80835. The quarter horse is gonna pull about 25 amps and even though it's always best to have an alternate power source, a large truck uh, alternator may pull 25 amps. We recommend actually having uh, a rechargeable power source that you hook up to the vehicle where it charges it back up, the power source in between your stops and you run off from that. But this will have a 25 amp, 20 to 25, 30 amp draw. Now here you have a 5 8 horsepower uh, motor. This is an M950. Now you can take this pump off and we're gonna show you that probably in another video and put it on this motor and it's going to ramp up uh, some of your coverage. It'll take it from about 150 PSI to 200 PSI capability. Uh, it's, it's easy to do, but when you do that, this is going to take it up to about 40 amps. So understand that you do have an exchange in how much power that you're going to need to draw in order to upgrade from the half to the five eighths. Now the part number, like I said, or I stuttered through a minute ago, is the 80835 for the complete assembly. Now you can get just the pump with the motor. 80866 is going to be your part number. Now, all of these are available on our website. Uh, it's very easy to work with. You can get any of the parts replaced in a minimum amount of time. Keep your fleet running. Like I said, four Allen screws replaces it. Clean energy, no gas, and you're out in the field. Also, we have the specs for your drop-off uh, as far as your flow, gallons per minute. You'll find this on the website as well. So if you visit our website, you're going to find on our product links, you're going to have a link for how to assemble this system, and you're also going to have uh, your, your flow rate chart. Now, another thing is we also sell the complete units ready to go. We have 50-gallon and 100-gallon units equipped with the 350U Pump Tech motor. 
the 100 gallon unit comes with 300 feet of half inch hose. So that gives you an idea of the reach and the range and what you're gonna be able to expect to accomplish. Well, thanks for being with me today. If you have any questions about Pump Tech, give us a call and uh, you'll find our information below. And also wanna encourage you to like this video so other people will find it and subscribe to our channel. All right, thanks a lot. We have everything you need at 4J Hose and Supply. Hose, pumps, spray guns, give us a visit. Thank you.